Hello, dear students. I am Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. So today I will solve a competency-based questions, which is based on new pattern of education, national education policy. It is planned to be in class ten. I have taken a question from polynomials, and let's see how we can solve it. So read the question very carefully. R K Agarwal is designed a propylene tank. The figure is given in the shape of a cylinder with two hemispherical ends. If the length of the cylinder is to be twenty units larger than its radius. Volume is to be three three two one pi cubic unit. Then, what is the radius? Options are given: five unit, seven unit, nine unit, thirteen unit. This question is about a container, which is a cylindrical part, and there are two hemisphere on two sides. height of the cylinder or length of the cylinder h is equal to radius plus 20 and you know radius of the hemisphere is same as your radius of the cylinder then only it can be made like this if the question again a k agarwal is designing a propylene tank which is shape of a cylinder with hemispherical ends The length of the cylinder is twenty unit larger than the radius. As I written, h is equal to plus twenty. Volume is three three two one pi cubic unit. What is its radius? So when we take the volume of the container, this volume is equal to volume of the cylinder part plus volume of two hemisphere. Take volume of two hemisphere. This is nothing but volume of sphere. So we have to recall the formula: volume of the cylinder is equal to pi into r square into r plus twenty. Because I have taken radius as r and height is equal to r plus twenty. So this will be pi. R Q plus twenty R square. So volume of one sphere I'm writing instead of two hemisphere I'm writing one sphere. It will be four by three pi R three three two one pi pi R Q plus twenty R square. Plus four by three pi r cube. Three two one pi. Pi comma. I can cancel. I'll get r cube is twenty r square plus four by three cube is equal to three three two one. I have to solve it. It will simplify. You are getting three r cube plus sixty r square plus four r cube by three is equal. Where is equal to three multiplying right side? It will be nine nine sixty. So the equation is now seven r cube. Plus sixty r square minus nine. To find the equation, you cannot get it by factorization. You have to put the factor theorem. You will test for r is equal to one whether it is becoming zero. So out of this four will test. 
first I'll put five, so seven into five cube plus 60 into five square minus it is not equal to zero. Then I'll go for seven, seven cube plus 60 into seven square minus nine. Put it is not equal to zero. But if seven nine cube three into nine square minus nine, this will be zero. See the answer. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching a video. Thank you have a nice day and let us wait for another video.